I am recording this late at night because of the other fact that um, I heard some uh, strange things. And I just want to say right now that Call Me Carson is innocent until proven guilty. Remember what happened with the virus situation? Well, I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to go there and call and call out and call me Carson a pedophile like some of creators did. And apparently this tweet from 10 hours ago was calling me Carson's last tweet. Was the last time Call Me Carson tweeted, which is if you spell your name wrong on an IQ test, does your score get knocked down? And then three hours ago, Teamstar, a lot of people posted a tweet saying that an 18 year old posted this video on Twitter claiming that Call Me Carson groomed her when she was 17. And Dexter Toe has been following this story from one hour ago. But this is still an innocent until proven guilty situation here. I saw in the drama alert video just now about like a half hour ago. And I do not know what else to tell you instead of me telling you uh, what people think really happened. I'm going to tell you what I think really happened here and what I think really happened here right now. Yes. Is the fact that Colin Carson should come out with a statement. If Colin Carson does not come out with a statement very soon, things can get a bit ugly. And I'm not saying that he should rush this at all. I'm saying that Colin Carson He has all the evidence to prove that he should think about what's happening here. I do not want to make a video right away to call out calling Carson because he, in my opinion, is just innocent until proven guilty. And there, and there it is. Grooming and Team Star is trending. I'll get to those in a moment. Okay, so first we got a Team Star. 
Yeah, so a lot of people have talked about Keem, Keemstar, who quickly uploaded this as of like a couple hours ago. And I just don't understand. Now this is happening. I know what Keemstar is basically trying to prove. I mean, he tried to prove that he was interviewing a French girl that was related to the pyrocynical situation. But I have not seen a drawing like video about it in general. I mean, a Twitter video is not going to help me find out who that girl is and why she and why came starting to be her. The French girl that I keep starting to view. On the past, my cynical situation has nothing to do with the Irene Rasmus situation today. And that's just how it feels here. I know we're kind of all caught up in the Carson story right now, but let's remember. All the allied YouTubers and TikTokers have already not stopped spreading COVID-19 while their neighbors are dying. I like every last one of you, including my personal friends, who are doing this. Well, that's for another video on that day, but still, I don't understand why Keemster had to upload a video very quickly. I don't understand why he had tweet that too. I mean, three hours ago, but right be I think it's right before he made his drum alert video. So come first and find out, you absolutely must know what's going on. I need a statement. And keep starts just rushing this. Really badly. At the time of recording, I'm gonna ask if all of you who are in the commentary community to just wait until after Friday. If you have audience now, that would be great to book them out by uh, 7 a.m. today, but. At the time of recording, it might be past 7 a.m. today because I'm editing this video. In spite of all this news. But if you don't have legitimate proof right now, it's best that you don't do anything until the other person who's being, in my opinion, right now. Falsely accused, then that person will have to come out with the truth. I just don't think that this was a good idea on Keemstar's part to uh, try to rush this whole thing right away. And I guess Keemstar hasn't gone to bed in the last 44 minutes. I hope he has.
because this person tweeted about Keemstar. He tries to cancel. Carson has apologized to them and hasn't done it since. Cancel Keem. And I'm afraid that Keemstar may have to be canceled for reporting this story way too early. And he has also accused Tipster of it, by the way. I watched an Augie RC video about it where it shows that Keemstar has accused Tipster the other day for reporting this story way too early. And now Keemstar is doing the, the exact same thing. I wonder why he would pre previously, in the past, call out Pyrus and Goopia for no reason about evidence. I mean, He call me cars and allegations at this point is just a little bit messy and it's out of place and if anyone's gonna have to explain it it'll have to be call me Carson at this point but we need to give him time I'm serious we need to give call me Carson time so if anyone in the commentary community including Keemstar continues to do the same thing like like that time that happened to Pyro when you call Pyro out for taking too long to respond I am going to disown every single one of you and you won't like that would you so let's only wait for Common Carson to respond I don't care how long it takes. This is certainly a bad time right now to call out Carmen, call, call me Carson for being a pedophile. At least for me, because I am currently waiting for the final Jeopardy episode. I want to give my thoughts on that before I do anything else. In the meantime, of course. I'm putting this video out there now to let you know that Carson is obviously innocent until proven guilty. If Colin Carson is proven guilty by then, Maybe I'm calling him criminal. Right now, he's not criminal. And he's not guilty. Unless he is proven guilty. If he's not proven guilty, it's best that you don't make a video about it. Team Star, especially you, because you don't have the evidence, and evidence to back it up. You just interview these two guys on your show. That doesn't mean that there is proof of anything. So if you're going to wait for Carson, at least don't spam so many tweets at once, waiting impatiently. It will take time. Don't be impatient. Wait. This is exactly what happened to, to the pirate situation, and no one wanted to wait.